No doubt that we are all suffering so much from the traffic problem. And since new information about roads and traffic can be extracted from very high resolution satellite images, so this future has been used to develop a module for traffic monitoring and analysis. Most of the satellite image consists of panchromatic images and multispectral images. A word of view too, panchromatic image and multispectral image for year 2009 have been used in the model. By looking to the figure, we can realize that the vehicles are moving. This movement is due to the time lag between the panchromatic sensor and the multispectral sensor of word view 2. This time lag is about 0.13 seconds. The module has been developed inside your DAS Imagine environment. It consists of three main parts. The first part is the data preparation. The second part is the processing and the results. The third part is the analysis of the results, which is the main objective of the application. The data preparation part is starting with creating a new project in order to input the main data for the application, which is the road network and the satellite images, the panchromatic and multispectral. Starting the processing by running the model, first the vehicles have been extracted from both panchromatic and multispectral images. Then the vehicle pair have been determined in order to calculate the distance. By having the distance and the time, the vehicle speed have been calculated, furthermore the traffic density direction and the vehicle classification could be estimated. The results have been added to the road segment attribute table. The roads network have been divided into equal segments with length 50 meter, which is a useful variable to study the traffic at each road segment separately. Now by looking to the results, the roads network have been divided into different categories based on the traffic density and the traffic speed. First, the traffic density have been divided to three categories, high and medium and low density. The red color segments indicate high density. The yellow color segments indicate medium density, while the green color segments indicate low density. The same have been applied on the traffic speed. As we can see, the red color segment indicate low speed, and by looking to the reason, we can see that there is vehicles coming from a side street to the main street, which slow down the vehicle's speed in the main street. Moreover, the road network have been divided based on the vehicle's classification. The red color segment indicates the presence of buses or trucks. Further, the module support video integration from traffic camera with the real data for each segment. This camera has been linked with a GPS in order to display the video over the map for each segment. A three cameras have been used to capture traffic, front and back and side. And this is so useful for the people who are experts in traffic analysis, because they can see real traffic data for each segment and declare the results or not. Finally, the last part of the module, which is analysis models that have been developed. We have built three different models traffic congestion, speed limits, and dynamic congestion, as an example, so any expert can build their own model. Now, by reviewing one of them, which is a traffic congestion, we have built a model using your DAS Imagine Special Modeler to get the traffic congestion segments. The main input for the model is the road network, and set both variables, the congestion speed and the congestion density. Then by running the model, we could get the traffic congestion segments which have been categorized to indicate the places where the traffic congestion is high. And by looking to the reason, for example, the video shows us bus station on the side of the road and different side street activities, which explain the high traffic congestion segments. As a conclusion, the main input for the module, both the road network and very high resolution satellite images which have been used for the calculation of the traffic density, traffic speed, and the vehicle's classification. To conclude, with a different analysis that could be done on the results. Thank you.